So some terms are often used, but they're often misunderstood or confused. So in this video, we're going to talk about pre-ignition and knock and detonation. Now, knock and detonation are irregular combustion events. So we're going to discuss those. They're often viewed as the same thing, and people often use those terms interchangeably. But there is a bit of a difference between the strict definition of knock and of detonation. And pre-ignition is really nasty. It's where the air fuel charge ignites prematurely and that can have catastrophic effects on the engine, particularly if the piston is still moving up towards the top dead center position and that combustion event happens too soon. It can force the piston in the wrong direction in some cases. So you really want to avoid pre-ignitions. So the computer inside the engine is very complex now. It's listening out for these irregular combustion events and it's adjusting the timing, the fueling and everything it can do to prevent that from happening in the future. We've also got formulations of high performance fuels with higher octane ratings that resist these irregular combustion events. So normal combustion causes a flame front to move through the air and fuel charge. It starts at the size of the spark and it expands, it accelerates rapidly and the heat builds as this flame front moves. But we need to get the idea of a cleanly moving flame front away from the spark. So when combustion starts, Ignition timing generally starts the spark at about 10 to 40 degrees before the piston reaches the topmost position, or we would refer to that as TDC, top dead center. That maximizes the cylinder pressure, releasing as much power as possible from that combustion stroke. So knock, which is also sometimes referred to as detonation, although some people use the term detonation to refer to something more specific going on. So I'll explain at the end of the video what the difference is between detonation detonation and not, but regard them as very, very similar things. They happen at similar times and they are a similar effect going on inside the engine. They're an abnormal combustion event. It's called knock because it does sound like you are hitting the cylinder with a small metallic hammer. It makes that metallic noise. And that's what the knock detector inside the engine is listening out for. The aim is to achieve the maximum cylinder pressure just after top dead center, the uppermost piston position is reached. Knock. So knock disrupts the clean flame front that would be moving through the cylinder by creating an additional area or an additional flame front in some other part of the cylinder. So it might be caused by a hot spot on the wall of the cylinder. It could be at the top of the cylinder near maybe one of the intake valves or the exhaust valves where there's a lot of heat that is left from the previous combustion stroke. And that can just cause effectively two flame fronts crashing into each other. So the intense pressure and heat caused by these abnormal combustion events can actually cause damage. If you look at the surface of an engine that has experienced pretty bad knock or detonation, you'll notice it looks like it's been blasted with sand. It's got a very pitted surface to it. And this happens on the, the piston crown, the cylinder walls, or even the spark plugs take a lot of the beating from this event. So how does the engine prevent knock? Well, it adjusts the timing. By changing the start point of the burn, it can avoid the knock effect that is happening within the engine. So retarding the spark, delaying things, running a richer air fuel mixture will also lower the combustion temperatures. So that's another thing we can do, lowering the temperature inside the cylinder. People have also used water injection on highly tuned engines to achieve the same effect, cooling the cylinder, making it more resistant to this knock effect. Backing off the amount of boost or the throttle is also another strategy that engines use to resist knock or detonation. And just switching to a higher octane fuel, these are designed to resist knock and detonation much more effectively. So if you've got a highly modified engine, you may need to run at a higher octane than the manufacturer originally specified. So just to differentiate, when some people talk about detonation instead of knock, they're still referring to an abnormal combustion event, but detonation evolves a lot more of the air charge cycle and it's a much more catastrophic effect. It's no longer two flame fronts, but more like an 
explosion going on inside of the cylinder. So that creates quite an impressive shock wave. And that really is something that you want to avoid from happening. It's fair to say that knock happens inside most engines and engines are designed to detect it and adjust things just to minimize the amount of knock that's going on in that. But in some cases where people have got a highly modified engine, they may not have mitigated the effects of knock sufficiently. So rather than a manageable amount that's going on inside the engine, this can run away and cause big problems with the engine. So it really is something if we're building an engine or redesigning an engine, we need to take into account the serious problems that can happen when we've got uncontrolled knock going on inside the engine. So I hope this video has been useful to you. It's just cleared up some of the confusion about these different terms. Please boot the like button. That really does help us to get out there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. We'd hate you to miss out on the great content we've got planned. And speaking of great content, I've lined up this video and this playlist that you should find really interesting. Thanks for watching. See you in these next videos.